You know what's cooler than a Ninja Turtles pizza wagon? A baby party wagon. NECA sized. I'm going to show you how to turn a, a LOL surprise Barbie mobile into your own custom NECA inspired baby Ninja Turtles party wagon. I'm Rob Von Chu. Let's go! So I drew inspiration from Plastic Flashback TMNT on Instagram. Kudos. I'm going to use the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles accessory set that has the baby Ninja Turtles, but you can also use the Turtle Tots from Mutant Mayhem from Target and the Lil Music Tour Mini Cooper from LOL Surprise. This car winds up being the perfect size to comfortably fit all four turtles and have room to spare. So with that in mind, let's get started. You're gonna need a mini screwdriver and let's disassemble the car first. Take out the screw. You got plastic tabs underneath that you need to push and pop through to disconnect the roof. And you're gonna to wanna to have everything pulled apart like so. You're gonna to wanna to give everything a warm soapy bath to take off and your residue wax or sealant that they have on the toy already so your paint will stick much easier. With that in mind, part two, the paint. You're gonna to wanna to airbrush or dry brush a nice matte gray coating on everything. And because everything is such a Pantone neon color, you're gonna to need to let it dry and give it a second, maybe even a third coat. Now, I painted this up and forgot about the nose. So I got half an Easter egg, found in the street a smushed bottle cap. That actually looks pretty decent. Or I had a leftover McFarlane shoulder piece, which I actually really dig. It looks like a tire, but also a clown nose. Just scratch off the paint, a little bit of super glue, and you're good to go. Now I'm using Vallejo Lime Green and Flat Yellow for the bulk of this project. A little bit of red to boot for the doors and balloons I'm using, which are just dollar party supplies at the store. Now this is the third coat of paint because even with the gray coat, I really needed to build it up to get a vibrant yellow, let it dry, give it another coat. And the nice thing about this step is that because it's NECA inspired, we have a bit of leeway. So six coats of paint in, and I think it's good to go, mostly. Hmm, need some more work, but it's coming together. I'm at a point now where I can start adding in some extra details. Do a dry brush for the headlight. Again, small, thin coats. Build it up gradually, but on the back, well, I can be a bit more liberal with it, seeing as how I already have 10 coats of paint underneath. And here's a pro tip. For the license plate on the back, of course you're gonna want it white, but don't make it pure white. Mix in a tad bit of blue or a tad bit of black. Throw it off just a little bit for a little extra character. Now here's where the NECA style comes in. You want to do a dual tone for the shadow areas, basically mixing in a little bit more red to your orange, the smallest dash of black or red to your yellow, and an absolute pin needle bit of blue to your green. Just darken it up just enough to pick up on a subtlety of a different shade of yellow, green, and orange. Now, what this is gonna do is, it, from a distance, it's gonna give it a shadow effect. Kinda like how they have on the full-size figures, but nothing where it stands out too terribly much. So you see there up top, mix the different shades of green, mix the different shades of yellow, and going on the door before, mixing the different shades of orange. It's subtle, but you see and you feel the difference. Part three, finishing touch. Now I've got Tamaya color, matte coat. It's a flat clear. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna wind up locking in the paint. Of course, this isn't foolproof. You wanna shake the bejesus out of it. Line everything up, take it outside into a well-ventilated area and spray it down. Keep the paint in place and reduce scratching. And to tie it together for the final NECA style, take a Sharpie pen and trace the edges of everything for a faux cell shaded NECA animated turtles finale. You can have fun with a smile on the front bumper. You can add baby teeth, buck teeth, big smile, little smile, party wagon on a license plate, and a couple of hatch lines here and there for shading and detail. And with that, have fun. You can go full Jets and Sharks, or Jets and Turtles, I guess, and the NECA Baby Turtles, and either which way, it fits, it works, it's fun. Kid-sized. Overall, this is a really fun project. I'd have to say it probably took about a week full-time back-to-back to get this thing done, basically giving it time to let the paint dry, but once it's done and once it's dry, this is just so much fun to have sitting on the shelf. It's goofy, it's silly, but it fits perfectly with a NECA style NECA theme and a solid addition to my Ninja Turtle shelf. Which customs do you want to see next? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're going to try it out or what you would try differently. And until next time, everybody, this is Rob vs. Toys. Subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.